In this video, I'm going to be building the LEGO Masters Trophy. It was an exclusive promo from Walmart. And also revealing my very first pick-a-brick box haul. These things are solid and heavy. With most LEGO sets, you would start off by opening a cardboard box. Well, that's not the case with this set. It comes bagged like in one of these bags that you would see from a pick-a-brick order from lego.com. The promotional period was a few months back in 2023 for this exclusive promo where you had to order $50 worth of lego and it had to be a qualifying purchase not every lego set qualified and then you send your receipt by email or through an online system uh, and then you would receive this a few weeks later in the mail. And it's not the first time that Walmart has done an exclusive promo. The year before, in 2022, they did this 90 years of play Yellow Castle. So that was pretty cool. Out of the 150 pieces that you receive in this set, this one is definitely the most coveted. It's a one by eight brick with Lego Masters printed on there. So that's really cool to have. This piece also I was unaware of. It only appears in a couple other 2023 sets. And the manual for the instructions, pretty straightforward. I was trying so hard to snap this brick into place and trying to figure out what the problem was. That's the problem. This replica represents the trophy that's seen in the US version of LEGO Masters. Seasons 1 through 4. And overall, I think it looks pretty good for being this scale. It's got a 2x2 two two gold brick on top. But it's of pearl gold. It's not like a really reflective one that they make it out to be in the uh, show. But I'm pretty satisfied with the build stability. It's got a big Technic pin running through the whole center axis hold everything together pretty well and the only thing I would suggest is changing out that gold brick to a more metallic one there that looks better doesn't it now let's move on to my pick a brick box haul these are my very first two pick a brick boxes from the lego store and I spent more than one hour packing these two together and you can tell they're dense they don't shake very much I wanted to challenge myself to see, to know for myself, what can I put in these boxes? How can I maximize the space with the elements that are on the brick wall? And let this be a challenge to you guys. Can you pack more than this? Oops, I touched it. 20.28 uh, ounces for this box. That's over one pound. And 20.85 ounces for this one. All right, let's get these opened up to show you how I pack them. All right, so on this top layer, I have this column of, I believe, 1 by 10 bricks. And then I have some 1 by 4 tiles just kind of wedged in there. The box is a little bit flexible, so they're kind of scattered about right now. When I peel this layer off, I've got this layer of slopes. These were the contents of that very top layer. It includes 19 of these 1x10 bricks with a layer of tiles on top. The next layer down has, looks like, 14 stacks of slopes. I've got 12 stacks of these dark red 2x2 slopes good for building a house roof, and two stacks each of these 1x2 slopes in white and green. So I had 16 stacks of slopes going this way. Um, looking at the stacks themselves, there's nine in each stack. And at the very top, I had enough space to put some plates and tiles, which those are 2x10 plates, two of them, and looks like uh, 10 1x4 tiles. 
Then after we remove this layer, we've got some one by two white bricks. On this layer, I have 23 studs worth of bricks going this way. And vertically, I have nine bricks again with a plate attached to the bottom and some tiles attached to the top. These are wedged in pretty good, but let me get these counted to see how much I had on that one layer. For that previous layer, I had 36 one by two slopes, 108 two by two slopes. As for the one by two bricks, I've got a total of 207. And on top are these one by two printed tiles. I have 23 of those. As for the very final layer, I mostly have two by two dark gray bricks, but there's also a sliver of one by two palisade bricks in white. Now it's a little bit difficult to fit the plates and tiles in the very corners, whereas in the middle, the box can expand a little bit. Again, I had 23 studs worth of bricks going this way and each stack composed of nine bricks tall. And looking at the depth of the box, I was able to fit four layers, where these first three layers were six studs worth of bricks, and then a layer of bricks on their sides. So that came out pretty flush with the top of the box. Now, can you imagine fitting all of this stuff into a single brick cup. I don't know, I don't think that's possible. Let's count up the total number of pieces I got. There were a total of 564 Lego elements neatly packed and stacked in that box. I'm gonna do a visual experiment to see what it would look like. How much of this can I fit into that box if I just lo loosely pack it in? I have my first layer of loosely packed items. Those were the 1 by 10 bricks. Now let's just throw these 2 by 2 bricks back in. All right, let's next put a layer of 1 by 2 white bricks. After putting in the 207 1 by 2 bricks, it pretty much filled it up. So there you would close your box there. See all the here all the loose space by shaking the box. Now you could put some one by ones in there, uh, fill up some of that empty space, but definitely not the 108 two by two slopes that I had in there. So three minutes versus 30 minutes. How much time do you want to spend at the Lego store? Is it really worth it to you? I'm not going to do this all of the time, especially if I have the family with a little green brick He's not going to be patient enough to wait around for me to pack a box for 30 minutes. So, I don't know. You decide. Is it worth it or not? This is box two. Alright, on the top layer, I have ladders. There are a total of 22 ladders that I put in on this top layer. Now below that... I've got an assortment of 1x2 bricks and 2x2 two two slopes. This layer is packed in pretty firmly. So I've got these 1x2 bricks just stacked a little bit differently. Um, let's see, a total of 36 times 3, that's 108. 2x2 two two dark red slopes. 18 here, 18 here, 36 total. One by two palisade bricks, 18 of those. And these one by two uh, bright green bricks, there's three times nine, that's 27. This next layer down is composed of all one by four white tiles. So there's 161 on this layer over in this corner. I've got a stack of bricks with uh, some headlight bricks stuck in the middle. So those are three bricks tall. And then as you go down each layer, well, there's just more layers of one by four tiles. So I think I've got 
looks like four layers there. So four times 161. Here's 644 one by four tiles. As you can probably guess, that took a lot of time and patience to put all of those carefully into that box that neatly. Well, there's 870 pieces total for that box. Now, what I want to do is just throw all of these into the box and see if I can fit them back in. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't leave enough room for all of this, right? That completes the look at the Lego Masters trophy and my first pick a brick box haul. Thanks for watching.